We'll now look at two different procedures for refueling machinery on construction sites. Let's look first at refueling a 360-degree excavator. The machine should maneuver into a safe refueling position where the ground is flat and there is space for the fuel bowser to come alongside. The machine's bucket is placed on the ground and the engine switched off. The plant operator must isolate his machine, apply handbrake and remove keys. The operator will then vacate his cab, make eye contact with the Bowser driver, who will then approach the excavator, park at least two meters from the plant, apply the vehicle brakes and exit his cab. The plant operator will then hand his keys over to the Bowser driver and move to a position of safety to observe the refueling operation. Plant operators are not permitted to re-enter the machinery until the fuel Bowser has completed the operation and left the area. The Bowser driver will then commence the refueling operation by unwinding sufficient hose, placing the hose nozzle near the plant fuel tank, safely access the plant using three points of contact, ensure the plant spill kit is readily accessible if needed, and commence and complete the refueling operation. After safely securing the plant fuel tank, the hose will be rewound, the plant keys handed back to the operator and the Bowser will leave the area. The plant operator is then permitted to re-enter his cab and continue with his work schedule. The refueling procedure for a large articulated site dumper is different in that the fuel bowser is already in a safe designated refueling position, which should be clearly marked by cones and barriers. The dumper will approach the refueling operation under guidance from the Bowser driver stopping at the indicated location. The dumper and Bowser drivers will make eye contact. The dumper driver will isolate his machinery and safely leave his cab, hand his keys to the Bowser driver and move to a safe location while the refueling operation takes place. After this is completed, the Bowser driver will position himself in a safe location, hand the keys back to the dumper operator, who will then move away to continue his work schedule.